This video focuses on the tools and process we developed to manage a co-created curriculum design project with students using an Agile approach. It demonstrates how we developed an open access course on antibiotic resistance in partnership with undergraduate students using the ABC learning design model for learning design and how we integrated and automated the tools to support our workflow with the aim of increased productivity and project transparency. The team consisted of a learning technologist, lecturer in TEL, an academic, a graduate intern and seven students. We moved from traditional to agile team roles to self-organise as a group, mix up roles and create a non-hierarchical structure. We applied our agile team working principles to this student partnership project, resulting in a new approach we call micro sprints. Micro sprints are three hours long and are split into four stages. So the four stages are plan, so you set the goal for the sprint to develop something usable. The second stage is build. The team work on tasks to achieve the overall sprint goal. The third stage is review. So the team and relevant stakeholders review each task created in the sprint and use defined acceptance criteria to sign the tasks off. And then the fourth stage is reflect. And this is where the team review and reflect on the current sprint process. So it's really important that we stress here that they are reflecting on the process and not the product. And the aim of the reflection is to continually improve the process. Here's an example of what a three hour micro sprint might look like. To support new ways of working and to organise the team, we wanted to move away from the old way of doing things which um, involves spreadsheets, heavy documentation, a waterfall approach to learning design, an over-reliance on um, applications such as Word, Excel, PowerPoints on shared drives. And we wanted to use technology to support an agile way of team working so that the process is iterative, provides lots of opportunities for discussion and feedback, facilitates ease of co-creation with students and captures data quickly and easily. We identified four free tools that we could use and integrate to support our new way of working. The tools needed to be democratic, transparent, easily accessible, user-friendly, current and easy to set up. So the tools um, that we identified were Airtable. So this is a spreadsheet database hybrid tool and that's used to capture the data and requirements of the project through forms. So in the design activity, this um, using the ABC learning design, this moves tasks from paper to the digital environment quickly and efficiently. And we also used Airtable to capture sprint reflections. Zapier is an automation tool for moving data between web apps. And we used Zapier to move data from Airtable into Trello. We used Trello, um, a collaborative project management tool to organize the tasks. So once they've been created in Airtable and pushed as individual cards to Trello, we used the Trello board that had been set up in, a, in an agile way using a Kanban approach to manage the project. We also use Slack, which is a collaboration and communication tool. Um, we set up a Trello channel in Slack, which shows any activity from the project's Trello board via a Slack Trello integration. And we also set up other channels in Slack to support project communication and collaboration. At the end of each sprint, the team reflected on the process and they were asked two questions, what went well and what didn't go so well. So this was captured in the Airtable form and allowed us to reflect on the sprint as a team and then create sprint actions for the following week to improve the process. And this contributed to an iterative increase in productivity and transparency seen through the sprint reflections and sprint actions. If you want any more information about this project, you can contact us at step at manchester.ac.uk.